bring greetings from the state and who will administer the oath of office to Mayor Joseph M. Palacino. Thank you, Commissioner. I have to say, there's, uh, I don't think there's many states where you could get the State Commissioner of Education to come out on, a, on his own time and serve as a master of ceremony. So it's a great honor to be introduced by you, Commissioner. Bishop Evans, elected officials, residents of the town of Johnston, it is indeed a great honor for me to be invited back again to officiate at the swearing-in and inauguration of my dear friend, Joseph Palacino, for another term as mayor of the great town of Johnston, Rhode Island. I have been twice blessed this year because just last week I was afforded the great honor and privilege of swearing in another old friend and great mayor, Mayor Charles Lombardi of the neighboring town of North Providence. You know, in this great country of ours, there is but one qualification for election to office. And that is to get more votes than anybody else who's running. Accomplishments are not specifically required, nor is intelligence, ability, or even integrity. But the public is indeed blessed when the person it elects to a given office possesses those qualities. And here in Johnston, you have been particularly blessed that your mayor has them in abundance. Mayor Palacina is a graduate of CCRI, Roger Williams University, and holds a master's degree from Cambridge College. He is a registered nurse who served as a professor of nursing at CCRI. He is a retired lieutenant, I think. Battalion chief, excuse me. Finally get to touch about that. Battalion chief from the Johnson Fire Department and served with distinction for many years in the Rhode Island State Senate. He has served the residents of this town with equal, with equal distinction as mayor since 2007. Throughout Mayor Palacino's long career in public service, his integrity has really been questioned, and he has earned an enviable reputation for his character and for living by deeply rooted beliefs and values. He remains a deeply committed husband and father, two roles that are even more important in our troubled society than any public office. I cannot tell you how pleased I have been, I have been to have witnessed his success, and I'm proud to call him my friend. As we all know, these are difficult times to be an elected official, and especially an office holder in the executive branch of the government. But the best of them weather all the storms, bear all the criticism, and simply continue to march forward, trying to do the best they can each day for the benefit of their communities and the people that they serve. In past inaugurations, swearing, and I want to use this one other time, swearing in another close friend, I think it was Chuck Mayo's body some years ago, I have closed with an excerpt from a speech given in Paris in 1908 by my favorite president, Theodore Roosevelt. His speech was entitled, Citizenship in a Republic, and the passage is as follows. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who actually does strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, and who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming your man in the arena, Joseph Penalcina, to the podium for the purpose of administering the oath of office.
your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Joseph M. Palacino. I, Joseph M. Palacino. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will be true and faithful. That I will be true and faithful. Unto this town. Unto this town. And support the laws and ordinances hereof. And support the laws and ordinances hereof. As well as the laws and constitution. As well as the laws and the constitution. Of the state of Rhode Island. The state of Rhode Island. And of the United States of America. The United States of America. And that I will will and truly. Well and truly. Execute the office of mayor. Execute the office of mayor. For the term for which I have been elected. For which I have been elected. Or until another be engaged. Until another be engaged. In my place. In my place. Or until I be legally discharged. 